Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're going to be messing around with some of my old party speakers and these things didn't even make it to a party yet because they were that shitty. They, Well look at this one, it doesn't even have the rest of the cabinet because it blew up all on its own while I was moving it around. So it's just the face right there. <laughs> the other one's still together kind of. Double mid-range, we got a 12 inch polypropylene woofer. Let's just give this a little bit of a... Now I would like to mention that all that rattling you just heard, that was definitely not my two cent bench here. No, the speakers are definitely not powerful enough to rattle this little aluminum bench. They're rattling all on their own. <laughs> this cab is so poorly built. Every There's leaks everywhere. It's really, really bad design. This thing needs some wood glue stat. <laughs> so now that I already have one of these things blown open, we can check out what it looks like inside. And don't laugh too hard, guys. Remember, that is a 12-inch woofer. And look at this little pathetic magnet and voice. <laughs> Like, any audio guy will see this thing and uh, probably get a good giggle. The only actual brand names I'm seeing here is Laser Audio Incorporated. <laughs> that sounds pretty high-end, guys. Now, I think I was talking about the double mid-range kind of thing here before. Two mid-range drivers, but uh, they are crossover differently, so one would work as a mid- or uh, one would work as a tweeter, but that's kind of sleazy just a little sleazy using whatever parts they have right Alright, so earlier I noticed that the speakers were cutting in and out, so I rigged up something a little better here. Okay. Ooh, scared me. <laughs> okay, so this has the thermal thing inside of it I have to take out. It's a little circuit breaker that shuts it off when it gets too much power. <laughs> then we'll have some fun. Alright, here's the culprit, boys. I'm gonna go ahead, too, and add a little bit of, uh... Just gonna turn the compression on a little bit. Or a lot, who knows. Too much. Cute little coil. Didn't quite withstand. Slow compressed. <laughs> Powerful 
bassiness. Just gotta get these open to get that uh, that circuit board out, right? <laughs> Can't really tell how cheap this is. I deformed it with my own hands. <laughs> Let's get a look at that. Looks even funnier without the giant ass dust cap. That was a little more violent. 